In today's webinar, we will be looking at ordering meal delivery online using different apps or websites. So firstly, how do food delivery apps and sites work? Um, things like DoorDash and Uber Eats host restaurants on their ordering platforms and provide delivery service. Restaurants pay a portion of their orders to that app or the site in exchange for the service they're providing um, the restaurant to deliver their food to customers. The apps in turn allow to uh, allow you to choose from restaurants to order from uh, based on your proximity to them. And you can also search for a particular restaurant, cuisine, or dish. The restaurant may charge a small delivery fee and fees will vary from restaurant to restaurant and it usually depends on the distance from you. So why would you want to use these delivery apps and sites? Number one, they're convenient. They're also easy to look through the whole menu of a restaurant and you can discover new restaurants. There's probably many options in your um, surrounding that you didn't even know about. So you can uh, find out about those and you can um, also note that there's multiple different cuisines available. Um, the order accuracy is very good. Um, and you can also see your cart before you check out to make sure everything you ordered is what you want. You can also track your order to see when the delivery person has got to the restaurant and is on their way to you and how much time it will take. And there's also special offers and discounts um, running monthly on most websites. Now, I'll be going over some of the popular food delivery apps. Um, that include Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates, um, Skip the Dishes, DoorDash, and Foodora. Note that some of these are available in both Canada and the U.S. and some only in Canada or only in the U.S. Now, where do these um, operate, as I was just saying? So um, in the U.S., there's Grubhub but that's also available in the province of Ontario only. There's Postmates, um, and that has some operations in Ontario and BC. And in both Canada and US, there's... And um, there's also in Canada, Skip the Dishes and Foodora. Now, to get a sense of the best delivery platforms in your area, you can simply do a Google search for takeout apps um, in your Google search bar and just insert your city or town after that. Next, we have ac um, accessing food delivery apps and sites. So all of these uh, aforementioned delivery providers can be accessed on a computer, phone, or tablet. They can be accessed through the internet browser on your phone or tablet but the apps are better optimized for the phone or tablet use and they're a bit faster and easier to use. So you can download any of these apps on Apple devices at the App Store or Android devices at the Google Play Store. Now, how to set up and use the apps. They all follow the same concept. So basically you wanna enter an account or make an account using your email and or phone number, enter billing information, then begin browsing the restaurants offered. Usually you do have to pay upfront uh, when ordering with your credit or debit card. And you can also skip making an account and enter your address to browse the restaurants. Um, so that's just logging in as a guest. You can browse through restaurants or search for what you want in the home tab and search tab as well. You can order by tapping on the restaurant choosing your food from the menu, and then hitting add to cart to check out if you're done choosing. You can also track your orders once they are placed in the orders tab, and some restaurants use one specific food delivery service. Now, firstly, we'll be going over ordering online with DoorDash. So all the apps mentioned function quite similarly. For today's example, we will go over how to do so from DoorDash. So first you're gonna to go to doordash.com 
or you can download the app from your respective app store if you're on a mobile device and the icon is just uh, half the letter D with a white a red with the white background. And we're gonna go over how to order from the website, but the options are gonna look the same if you're on a mobile device. Now to start ordering online with DoorDash. First, you're gonna start by entering your uh, delivery address. At that point, you're gonna be taken to the DoorDash homepage. Next, you'll select if you want delivery or pickup from the top left corner, as you can see on your screen. And you can also select when you want the order to arrive. So that would be immediately or at a later time. So ASAP is like right away as soon as the delivery driver can. And you can also schedule it for later depending on the service. So from the DoorDash homepage, you can also select popular food categories that will take you to a list of restaurants. So as you can see, there's like chicken, fast food, Asian desserts. You can search for a restaurant, cuisine, or a specific dish you are craving as well by using the search bar at the top right corner. Or if you scroll down on your homepage, you're gonna see different restaurant lists based on your location. And they're usually gonna recommend you what's most popular in your area like neighborhood favorites or the fastest near you. So that means you'll just get the food the fastest. And you can click see all to view the full list. Now to search for something, again, use the search bar and type a restaurant name, cuisine or dish and press enter. You're then gonna be given a list of restaurants that match your search terms. And at that point, um, each restaurant listed will show you the price range. So how expensive the food is. Um, $1 sign is the least expensive and $4 signs is the most expensive. You can also see the restaurant's customer rating and how many people have rated it. Um, those are measured in stars from one to five. And you can also see the estimated delivery time as well as the delivery fee. As you can see here, the dollar signs the ratings. Next, to select the restaurant, just click on it, and then you will be taken to the restaurant's order page. Over here, you can jump to a menu section by clicking it, um, as this arrow is pointing to, like starters, um, salads, noodles, and more. Or you can scroll down to see all the menu items. And you can also start a group order if you're ordering with some friends and you guys um, um, wanna know what each other are ordering, so you're like, don't double order, I guess. So a group order means you can make an order where multiple people invited can select their food. The cost will be split among the orders as well. So select your per person order limit if you have one and click start group order. You'll then be provided with an order link and then you can copy and share it or email it with the other orders. So to add items to your orders, simply click the item from the menu, as you can see on the right side. So it's basically like a multiple choice form where you can choose the menu items that you want in the order. And you can also select the amount of that order if you want. So like they're ordering a papaya salad peanut. Right now it's just one. If you want more than one of the salads, you just keep clicking this plus button or minus to decrease the amount. So when you are done filling out the item options, you'll click add to cart at the bottom right where it'll also show you the total for that. Um, and that's also the price for the item. So you're gonna see that all the items you have added to your cart on the right side of your screen or on your phone. You can also click view cart on the app. It's a red button that looks like this. From here, you can check your order total on the checkout button. You can from here remove items from your cart by clicking remove under the item. And when you are ready to place your order, click checkout. Now, if you have or not already signed in, you will be prompted to do so. 
So fill in your email and password and then click the red button that says sign in. Or you can sign up for an account by clicking the small uh, sign up button. And then you can create your account through your Facebook or Google account or by inputting your email address as well as create a password. So next you're gonna be taken to the checkout page once all of that is selected. Here you can change the delivery method. So if you want them to bring it to you or you to go to the restaurant, you can change the time for the order. So as soon as possible or for later, change the address at which it will be delivered to or give special delivery instructions by clicking add or edit. Now on the checkout page, you will also be asked to fill in your payment method. You can add a promo code or coupon code if you have one by clicking that button. A promo code is an online coupon that provides discounts on the purchase. They're available online or through promotional emails. You can, again, review items in your order and remove something by clicking the X next to the item. Now, on the right of the checkout page, you will see all the charges um, of the order broken down, including the food total, taxes and fees, and the delivery charge. You can add a tip for your delivery person by selecting one of the automatic amounts or by clicking other to input a different amount. Um, at the bottom will be the amount due. So as you can see, there's some options for tips. Um, a lot of people ask me this, so I'll just mention that the tip is not mandatory, but it is appreciated since they're delivering it to you. If you don't want to, you can hit other and put in zero. Now, um, when you are done filling everything out, click the red button that says place order. You'll then be redirected or sent from your order to an order tracking page. You'll be able to see how far along your order is. And once it has been picked up by the courier, uh, the delivery person, um, you can track their location. Now, at any time you click the three lines in the top left corner to explore more DoorDash options, uh, you can also see the current and past order by clicking orders, make changes to your account like email and password by clicking account, uh, manage payment by uh, clicking that, purchase or redeem gift cards, sign up for a Dash Pass by clicking the get free deliveries, or get help with your account or orders by clicking help if you're facing any technical issues or delivery issues. And lastly, you can sign out of your account. And um, now that the presentation portion is complete, I'll be conducting a quick live demo of the um, DoorDash website on my computer uh, through my browser. So um, basically on the, um, once you've logged into the website, you'll be able to um, see um, this. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to change your delivery or pickup option. So at the top left corner, as you can see, there's a delivery or pickup button. Um, you can just click on either one of them to um, choose your preference. And once you've done that, you can also um, click on the ASAP button to choose if you um, want it as soon as possible or schedule it for later. So as you can see, um, you can choose what day you want it ordered on. So let's say I don't want it today and I want it on Friday. And then you can also choose the time. So I wanted to get it between 10, 10 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. So I'll click on that and it'll register. Perfect. And at this point, you can choose your options from the side on the left. This is the same thing as the home screen we saw when we opened the website. So, and you can also choose your category as mentioned in the presentation. So let's say I want some breakfast. So, um, on this list, you'll be able to see all the restaurants that serve breakfast, for example, and you can just click on any 
um, any of them in order to um, see their menu and order from there. So let's say I want to order from here. I'll click there and it'll open the restaurant's uh, page. So here you can see that um, how far of a walk or drive it is from your location and um, when it would be ready for pickup since that's what I'm ordering. And if I was ordering delivery, it would show me the delivery time. So obviously. And it'll also give you the address of the restaurant here. And you can also switch back to delivery from here if you'd like to. So um, once you scroll down from here, you can see the um, page where it gives you the menu and you can organize the menu to see what you want. So um, I want some veggie items. So I'll click there and then it'll give me the options for that. And um, I want some garlic potatoes, so I'll click on that. And then you can choose um, all the options to configure the order. For this one, it's just the size, so I'm going to go with small. And you can see there's also upgrades to the price um, on it. So if you'd like, you can add it to the cart by clicking that button, where it'll also show you the price, which was $4. So once you've chosen everything you wanted to order, you can just hit the button that says checkout and make sure everything is okay before you do that in your order. So I just have one garlic potato, so I'm gonna click checkout. And once it loads, you'll be able to again, configure the order if you change your mind and um, see the address and your phone number. Here is where you should enter your payment method in order for the um, order to be paid for. So you'll just hit either credit or debit and then enter that information. And once you're done, you, this button will turn red and you can hit place pickup order and it'll be ready. And again, you can um, tip the staff if you'd like to. And you can see any fees here. For this one, there's no delivery fee since it's a pickup order, but if there was, you'd be able to see it here for the delivery orders. So now we're gonna go back to the home page so I can um, show you some of the options there. So that's again at doordash.com. And more about the home page you can um, select what ratings you want them, uh, the restaurants you order from to be. So let's say you want it from 4.5 to five, you can drag the slider to choose that and then click view results. And it'll show you all the different um, restaurants that have a um, rating that's 4.5 or above. You can choose a delivery time. So let's say I want it under 30 minutes. I'm gonna hit that button. And it'll show me all the restaurants uh, that can be delivered in under 30 minutes. You can choose the price range. So let's say I'm feeling fancy and I want to eat expensive. You'll click that one and then click view results. And it'll show you the most expensive options. Um, yeah, and if there aren't any options like that, you'll see a page like this, which meaning either you're being too specific and they don't have anything like that. Um, um, or there's just nothing available in that short of a delivery time. The next thing you're going to want to do is click the top, um, on the top left corner, the three little lines, and that should open a menu on the side. You can also see the offers. Um, so these are going to be any deals that DoorDash and the restaurants are partnering to offer and like um, cheaper delivery fees, things like $5 off or a certain amount off the order. Other than that, in that menu, there was also um, the get my rewards card um, for the DoorDash pass. So if you clicked on get my rewards, you can sign up to get more discounts. Um, and if you would like, there's also a monthly plan for DoorDash that you can subscribe to. Um, you can also click the help button, which will lead you to DoorDash's support page to like, if you're having trouble navigating the website technically, or you need help with the delivery driver, 
you can um, get that from here. Um, you can buy gift cards, um, see your payment methods from um, safe stores, um, see your account information, and also your orders page. So when you're on your orders page, it'll look like this. So all your orders will show up here. And this is where you'll also be able to track your order. And you can also load more deliveries um, to see all the ones you've made in the past. All right, so that pretty much concludes our live demo for um, DoorDash. Thanks everyone for your attention during this presentation. We hope you found it helpful. If you guys ever wanna learn more about um, DoorDash or any other of the delivery sites to get food delivered to you, you can get some more help with a mentor if you need it. And you can book a session with one at cyberseniors.org or call our toll free number to register for the one on one phone session. We also have weekly tech drop in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. on Thursdays if um, you guys have quick questions that you need answered.